guys how are you welcome back to my channel this is miss Usapir, and uh, in this channel we talk about yarn life my life and design life in yarn life we talk about knitting and crochet everything in between my life we talk about my day-to-day -day life whatever i'm going to do a b c and d and design life we talk about architecture design diy and everything in between so in today's video we are going to do reviews of all the sweaters that i've ever made so this video may need a part two and three and four because i wouldn't want it to be super long and super boring or super long of course it cannot be boring because we're talking about design but anyway I wouldn't want it to be too long so uh, I will review the ones that I'm able to review until we reach the timing mark that I usually prefer my videos to take and then we are gonna do a part two and a part three and a part four if need be but I'm discussing all the sweaters I have ever made all of them so let us get into it I'm going to start with uh, the latest going to the one that i did kitambo so i'm looking at my ig page yeah and if you're not following me what are you waiting for what are you waiting for yeah atom friends yeah let me just go down if you have not registered for pick and it season three what you need to register if you have not registered okay so the latest sweater that i have on my page is um okay i'm going to talk about all the sweaters even those that are tops should i yeah i think that would be well but i can just discuss the sweater sweaters the sweater tops i'll discuss later so i can see the sweater that is here is the puffy brown and uh, puffy brown and uh, and uh, dark mustard yeah the puffy design is uh, a design that i came up with in 2022 mm -hmm. i was working uh one client ordered and then another client ordered two extra sweaters and then that is how the design stuck because it is you know something that uh, i posted on my page and uh, more people loved it and wanted it so puffy is basically your your all edge sweater you see that sweater that is in your mom's closet that you you always eye and you look at and you're like your sweater is a style heavy na heavy na heavy. like it's a sweater that can be worn by or across all generations your grandma can wear it your mom can wear it you can wear it and your daughter can wear it so is that sweater that can you know is uh, flexible in terms of uh, generation wise in terms of style the style is timeless because it's something that you know doesn't go out of trend you know puffy sleeves cozy oversized kind of sweater you can style it in whatever way you want to style it in you can wear it with whatever you want to wear it with so the puffy collection the puffy sweater the short one definitely a plus i loved this design so much it just gave me shivers anytime i'd see i'd see this specific sweater <laughs> So the next sweater that's on my page is the pink little number. I'm sure you already know the pink little number. The pink little number is a crop buttoned sweater. It's like a bolero, but it's like a crop sweater. Yeah, so it is way shorter on the toe, so it just lands just before below the boobs or above the navel. And uh, it's a neat piece. It is uh, a combination of knitting and crochet but 90% of the sweater is knit because the only crochet part is the ribbing and the cuffs but the rest of it all is is a knit piece I use the pearl stitch and uh, yeah this is quite a pretty piece I love the the, the, the darts on the back it has some darts on the back just to cinch the waist part and uh, this is a design i'm super proud of super cool <laughs> uh 
Aha, uh-huh. then we move on to yeah, talk about the the poppy kimono sweater. So it's a sweater definitely because it's uh, I threw it on top. I made it as a set, but uh, the sweater on its own can also be styled differently. You can you can wear that sweater as a dress. You can wear it on top of some other outfit. It doesn't have to be worn as the whole three pieces. You understand? So uh, the poppy. I named it poppy because the poppy set. So this is the poppy sweater because of the color of the flower poppy. The poppy flower. It's a very delicate blue. You know that blue that you're not really sure ni blue, ni purple, ni the lilac like that kind of blue. So the inspiration behind it is the poppy flower doesn't just grow anywhere. Like it usually has difficulties. It is difficult to grow poppy flowers, but when you grow them and you manage to grow them, it is it is beautiful. It is worth it. So this set I made it during a period when I was super caught up. I was working an eight to five, and trust you me, when you're trying to make a three piece and you you have a short period of time, I was making it specifically for pick and two. And of course, we know that if you've attended pick and before, you know that when we attend it, you wear what you made. So I was like, yo, I leave the house at eight, meaning I wake up at six. I come back to the house at five. I am tired. I have worked the whole day. My head is just banging, and I have to, you know, work on this. So I made this specific sweater using the central machine, and uh, joined it by hand, and uh, it actually, you know, did me good. So it looks so lovely. I definitely need to make another another color combination of this specific kimono. Aha, uh-huh, let's go to the next sweater. Let's go to the next sweater. Okay, there is the Maxi Puffy. So, the sweater I discussed, the first sweater I've talked about has a longer version. So, it is called the Maxi Puffy. The Maxi Puffy has all characteristics similar to the Puffy sweater. The only difference is that this one is Maxi. And the only dif- uh, the other difference is that the, the the collar is different. You will look at them closely here and here. Uh, the collars of the puffy sweaters are like short and uh, just up to here, but the maxi puffy has a round, like a a wrap around that goes all the way to the bottom. It's like a robe yeah you see how robes are made so there's a, a thin continuous line that now you know wraps around the edge of the sweater so it's a maxi puffy this one you can wear it as a dress you can wear it as a sweater you can wear it as a top like whatever you like this one will do it for you the next sweater let's see let's see let's see let's see let's see let's see, let's see. Still Maxi Puffy. Hey, Maxi Puffy was a hot one. Hot one, my friend. I'm telling you. Hot one. Let us see. Let us see. I like going through my page and just seeing how far I've come and how much I've done. And I just, you know, whenever I'm in any situation where I am like doubting whether I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing or whether I am where I'm supposed to be. I look at my page and I'm like, Girl, you did all this. It would relax and, you know, be proud of yourself. So, yeah. So we still have the puffy. I did the puffy in several colors. We have, um, we have uh, uh, mustard and teal. The maxi was also mustard and teal, but I used the lighter version of uh, yarn. And then we have hot pink and aqua. Then now we have the brown and the mustard, dark mustard. Let's continue. Let's continue. So let's continue. Let's continue. It happened. Ni likuwa kwa kwa season ya ya tops. Okay, now we we to me fika kwa the other sweater. So we have the grayscale crop version. Grayscale the crop. Now grayscale is a 
a version of sweaters that I came up with. It's a basically gray scale, like shades of gray from white to black. And then in the middle we have shades of gray. So I did a long one for a client, but now I'm doing a, a then I did a short one for myself, a crop one. I remember I did this one now. I started doing this when I was at home. I think last year. Yes. When I was at was it last year? No, it wasn't last year. It was the other year. Yeah. The other year. This is a beautiful crop sweater, knit sweater that has a very defined ribbing on the on the sleeves and uh, it is so breathable i used chunky yarn but you can still wear it with just your with nothing inside and you can also wear it as a a top to you know be warmer like a you can wear it on top of an outfit so yeah the grayscale crop version was a hot number then uh let's go on to the next sweater that we worked on Ooh, the next sweater that we worked on is bow number three or the next sweater that's on my page bow number three now bow number three is part of the the line bow collection the bow collection has three pieces bow number one bow number two and bow number three bow number three is a neat a neat cam crochet uh, crop top that has 12 colors all the bow series has a common characteristic of 12 colors the arrangement is the same identical the only difference is the design so bow number three was made with a uh, uh, neat pattern the part not neat pattern pearl pearl part pearl stitch then the neck was done with the slip stitch slip stitch crochet yeah so this was a good one lovely one the client who bought this specific sweater loved it she loved it she was like oh my god i love this sweater i love this sweater ah yeah let's continue the next one is bow number two bow number two is a crochet piece a hundred percent crochet piece it is one of a kind guys I, I can't get over how pretty this sweater is and I definitely have to recreate it in different versions. Mm -hmm. Next sweater is uh, bow number one of course. Bow number one was a plain knit sweater. Pretty. Done for a client. She loved it. She loved it so much. Mm. And then uh, let's continue. I think we'll have one 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 video for all these sweaters mm -hmm. oh wow this is so pretty you know when you go to your you go to your page and just go down 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 and then you find out things that you did kitambwan you're just like wow so there's this sweater it's called the winter queen the winter queen is an orange and black sweater that is super dope I think it was one of my first sweaters to do yeah it was one of my first sweaters to do and then the next one is called the yellow the yellow oh my god yellow is so pretty it's like a playful kind of you know capy it has some cape characteristics it's a crochet piece I used a single crochet uh, stitch to work on this and it came out so well so nicely I think that is it for the sweaters there's this gray sweater that I did for an aunt of mine yeah it's like a, it's super long she loved it long like that and uh, yeah that is it I guess for the sweaters because I don't think I did apart from the baby sweater oh there's this baby sweater I did a friend of mine was giving birth and I did a baby set so there's this sweater that I did it was so cool and so pretty yeah let us see if there's any other sweater that I did I've done nope I think that is it guys so <laughs> I love this. Oh my god, this is where we started. Oh my god. So cool.
thank you guys for watching that is my sweater review and you can go down below in the comments and tell me which one is your favorite because i know you all have a favorite amongst the sweaters that i've talked about so comment down below don't forget to like share subscribe and comment yeah i like it i like feedback i love feedback so comment and tell me what you think about the sweaters that i've just reviewed and yeah i guess i'll see you next time when we're reviewing something else bye bye and don't forget to register for pick and knit season three it's happening on 4th of may 2024 it's happening at canopy cafe and we will be so happy to see you guys there interact and chat with each other bye